Hi, this example is showing how long-running remote commands can be called on the TML server with a progress reply to be displayed on the client. Three different commands are processed parallelly with all communication handled through a single TCP connection. The server and client applications are implemented with Lazarus and Free Pascal. The TML components are available for uh, Rudd Studio as well. Different platforms like Windows, Linux, OS X are available. You can use different language bindings like Python or C, for example, to implement network enabled applications. The simple to use TML CDX SDK is available for Raspberry Pi and Banana Pi. Even complex communication patterns can be implemented fast and reliable. Three commands are implemented on the server. Every command returns a progress value to the caller and is processed about five seconds. The server application displays the progress of a running command. Any of the commands can be called multiple times without waiting for the previous call to finish, but for this example it is assumed that each command is running only once at a time. To receive commands, a TML core and TML profile component is selected from the component palette and dropped on the form. The TML profile needs to be connected to a TML core and a unique profile ID has to be assigned. A single TML core can handle all communication of the application. Multiple TML cores can be used if it is required to provide different services on different ports. On application startup, the TML core listener has to be started to receive incoming commands. In the onform show event of the application window, the listener enabled property is set. If the listener cannot be started, an exception is raised. A possible reason for an exception is an already occupied port. In this case, a message is displayed to inform the user that the listener cannot be started. Clicking the period next to the commands property of the TML profile in the object inspector opens the command editor. Commands can be added and removed easily using the plus and minus buttons in its toolbar. Selecting a specific command in the list displays the command properties in the object inspector. Each command needs a numeric ID specific to this profile. A meaningful name is optional and not required for the functionality, but it helps to remember why a command was created. Each command has an on command call event. If the synchronize flag is set, it is called inside the main thread to manipulate elements of the user interface, but to process the commands asynchronously, synchronize cannot be used. A TML command message is passed to the command handler function. It is linked to a command message on the client side and communicates with it through TML. The procedure sync set progress is used to set the position value of the progress bar in the server user interface. The implementation is not shown in this video. Assigning a value to the progress property of the command message calls the on progress event on the client application that handles the current status of the command. The sleep command simulates time-consuming processing. To implement the remaining two commands, the code is copied to the command handler functions and some names are adjusted. The parameter of the sleep command is changed to simulate different processing speed. To call the server commands from the client, three buttons are used, one for each command. The progress reply from the server for each command is displayed with a progress bar. A LED widget shows if a command is active.
Each command can only be active once at a time in this example. For TML there is no difference in calling the same or different commands. All commands can be processed parallelly. To call a server, a TML core component is dropped on the form. There is no need to start the listener because there will be no incoming traffic. Progress replies are part of the command and do not require another open TCP port. The units UTML errors and UTML types have to be added to the users. TML commands are created as object instances of TML command message. The instances have to be kept until the command processing is finished or an error occurs. Because this example executes each command once at a time, a private property to hold the current instance is appropriate. Because all communication is asynchronous, command ready and progress notifications are called in a thread context different from the main thread. To manipulate elements of the user interface, the queue async call method of the application is used. Set command ready, set command error and a set progress function for each progress bar are prepared to be used with queue async call. Command calls are implemented in the onClick handler of the button. If a command is already processed, the new object instance of the command message is assigned to the command specific property. In this case, a message is displayed and no new command is called. If no command is running, a new one can be called. The LED indicator is switched on and a new TML command message is created. The command ID is passed to the constructor. To call the command on the server, the TML core method call async is used. Call async does not wait for a result. The command message remains assigned to the property waiting for further treatment. The two remaining commands are implemented similar to the first one. The TML core has a general on progress event. The command that triggers the event is passed to the handler function. To set the position of the progress bar, the command is identified by its command message instance. Using the pointer value of the object instance to handle asynchronous command message instances in lists or tree nodes is quite handy. In this example, it seems to be more complicated than necessary. Using Q as in call to set the position decouples the on progress processing from the main thread. The command specific set progress procedure sets the position if the event queue processing of the application calls it. Implementing the onCommandReady event is similar to onProgress. Again, the command is identified by its instance and the appropriate action is taken. First, the error property needs to be checked if the command was processed successfully. If not, set command error is called to switch the LED color to red. If everything is ok, the LED is switched off and the progress bar position is resetted.
There is no need to free the command message instance here, because this is automatically done after calling the command ready event. The purpose of this very basic example is to show how long-running asynchronous commands can be handled with multiple progress replies and TML. You may realize that this kind of communication through a single TCP connection requires an advanced application protocol. TML is based on the Blocks Extensible Exchange Protocol. This Internet standard protocol is designed to avoid blocking effects and support future-oriented communication patterns through a single TCP port. Okay, thank you for watching my video and if you want to start using TML, download it from tmlsoftware.com.